Let's try to understand triangle law of vector addition. So we apply this triangle law of vector addition for geometric vectors. As you know, geometric vectors are arrowheads with tail and the head, right? Or the initial point and the terminal point. Now let me show you how we do it. Let's first take an example. Let's say we have one vector here. Let's call this vector A and we need to add a vector B to this vector and let me say this is my vector B right so to add them what do we do we place vector B so that the tail of vector B coincides with head of vector A so we'll get this vector B from here and we'll draw a line parallel and of the same length so we get this line here and that is our vector B. As you know two vectors are equal if their magnitude is same and their direction is same. So if these magnitudes are same and the direction is same they are same vectors correct. So we get vector A and vector B so that the tail of vector B is on the head of vector A. Now starting point of vector A, the initial point, to the end point or terminating point of vector B, that distance, if we join, it forms a triangle. Do you see that? It forms a triangle. And here, this length of the triangle is equal to sum of vector A and B. And that is the triangle law of vector addition. Do you get it? So that is how we add vectors using triangle law. Let me show you in another way. Let's say we have two vectors. And let me say A to B, right? So vector A is like AB from A to B. Then what we have done in this triangle, let's call this point as C. As you can see from vector addition, that AB plus BC is equals to A to C. Do you see that? So this is <clears throat> another way of putting the triangle law of vector addition. Right? So if vectors are given to you in the form of tail to head, in that case you can arrange them so that the tail of the next comes over the head and they form a triangle. So the third side of the triangle gives you the addition of the vector. So that's how we add vectors using triangle law. Right? Since it forms a triangle, it is called triangular law. Now similarly, we'll do parallelogram law of vector addition, where we'll make a parallelogram. Think like this. If I would have drawn this B from here and completed this quadrilateral, it would have formed a parallelogram and that diagonal will give me A plus B. So in a way both are very similar, right? And they find wide applications. So we'll have a few examples and then we'll have real life situations which will be solved using triangle law of vector addition or parallelogram of vector addition. Thanks and all the best.